So I'm Professor uh, Gilles Montalesco. I'm an interventional cardiologist. I work at PTA Salpetriere Hospital in Paris. I'm Dr. Yan Yan from Beijing Andrea Hospital, a cardiologist, and I'm the study coordinator of the right trial. There, there is a big, huge gap between the clinical practice and guidelines. Uh, the post-procedure anticoagulation aims to prevent the ischemic or thrombotic events after primary PCI. The real-world data suggests that uh, it was used frequently after primary PCI and may improve the clinical outcome. Uh, however, there was no randomized trial to, uh, to identify the risk-benefit of sloping or prolonged anticoagulant after primary PCI. So that is why we want to conduct this trial. I, you know, um, 48 hours uh, corresponds to uh, the stay in the CCU after a primary PCI. So it's uh, uh, really the period when you wonder uh, if you should anticoagulate this patient after primary PCI is starting, uh, sometimes with a, a, a big thrombus burden in these patients. So uh, uh, clearly we said, let's go and, and, and anticoagulate these patients for at least 48 hours and see if uh, there is a benefit on clinical ischemic endpoints. Yeah, the so right trial is uh, investigators initiate multi-center randomized placebo-controlled double-blind superiority trial to test a wider routine use of low-dose post-procedure anticoagulation with a superior to placebo in STEMI patient undergoing prime PCI in contemporary clinical practice. Yeah, we enjoy STEMI patients. Three anticoagulant uh, regimen were used uh, because clearly we don't know which one is more effective and uh, the practice shows that uh, bivalodin can be used, enoxaparin uh, uh, can be used or unfractionated bin uh, can be used and uh, some prefer one or the other so we, we used uh, the three according to the practice and the center had to pick one and the patients were randomized to receive this drug or the placebo of this drug uh, during at least 48 hours. As the main age of the patient was 68 years old with 21% of female and with 25% uh, with diabetes and 55% uh, with hypertension. And the median time of door to balloon time was uh, uh, 74 minutes and with 98% uh, with aspirin and 95% uh, with P2Y12 inhibitors before angiography. As you can see, it's a low to intermediate risk population of STEMIs undergoing primary PCI, reflecting current practice. No cardiogenic shock patients, no heart failure patients, uh, no big arrhythmias at the time of primary PCI. So uh, a low to intermediate risk uh, population. The main result of our trial is uh, routine use of post-procedure anticoagulation at a very low risk anticoagulant. I uh, mean, that's not imp uh, it's safe, but does not give uh, improved ischemic outcome. Yeah, it's uh, it's a neutral uh, trial, uh, which is uh, I think uh, important information. So there was no benefit on the ischemic side of uh, prolonging anticoagulation when many of us do that every day. And uh, 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 the safety also was very good. There was no signal uh, on, on bleeding with periprocedural anticoagulation at the doses that we picked for this uh, trial. So clearly, if, if you think it's important to prolong anticoagulation in your patient, you can do it. It's safe with these uh, strategies. But globally, we didn't see uh, a benefit in this uh, population. I, I think it, it will influence guidelines because if you look at uh, the guidelines, they do not say anything for now. Uh, they tend to say that after PCI in general, you stop anticoagulation, but primary PCI is very special. Um, so uh, we have a randomized study now to say, if you want to stop it, it's fine. We have data now supporting that. Now, uh, when we look at the three uh, anticoagulation regimens, there was heterogeneity among them. and. Uh, um, enoxaparin anticoagulation look better with uh, a, a trend for favorable results. So uh, that, that's something that we would like to explore in the future because of course it's only a hypothesis uh, generating. So for practice, if you think that your patient deserves 
prolonged anticoagulation uh, because there is a high risk of osmotic events. Maybe you would like to pick this regimen, uh, which behaves better than the other two. So what are the next steps? Maybe another study with an octopine, uh, because this is the best result that we had in the study.